Trevor Stewart, Dancy Gardens, Lottie Dundee, Scotland, Great Britain. 22nd of January 2013. I went to the police station with my new statement that I had rewritten because the previous statements I had written were done in haste and I came to panic. So I didn't write them out properly. After the sniper car, it was put outside my living room window in Lockheed. It was clearly ended because I was writing on Professor Kevin McDonald's website. Uh, I took my 25th of December 2012 statement up to uh, Bell Street around about, I think it may have been about 5 o'clock, half past 5. I went into Bell Street Police Station. I asked the lady, the policewoman on the desk, and they've got video cameras and they will see me. The girl on the desk, the policewoman, with dark hair, curly hair, she refused to take my statement. She wanted to know what it was all about. And after debating her for maybe 10 minutes, she asked me to wait to speak to the police officers. After waiting around for half an hour, I, and there was three other people in Bell Street with me as witnesses to say I was ill. The police officer, the policeman and the policewoman, they came out to see me. They took me into a little interview room and they had a look at everything I had went through. The police officer, the man, he was looking, he got some of my previous stuff from my file and he looked through what had happened to me last year, uh, just over Christmas and New Year, and looked quite shocked because when you read it out it was very shocking. Uh, the stuff in, on the law hall and I can only remember a little part of being on the wall hall and I don't know what I was doing on the wall hall but I definitely remember I was up there and again I remember seeing light uh, I remember hearing shouting too I remember there was someone shouting that's all I remember about the, the, uh, the wall hall in Dundee and he was reading about Camp Down he was reading about the hospital he looked pretty perplexed over the stuff and he started to read my new statement. Well, he didn't take much. Uh, he, he didn't believe me so much. And, yeah, I can understand that. It's very complicated stuff. And this guy is claiming that he never hurt himself. Something hurt him. He just don't know what it is. I use face shifters with a question mark. The question mark is very important. That designates I don't know what hurt me. I was just using face shifters just to sell it for commercial value, propaganda reasons, so people would what what was looking at, you know. Uh, well he he became quite hostile when he was reading my statement and after a little while he just refused to I refused to I said I'm not saying anymore, I'm not saying and this was an interview. He interviewed me before he would take my statement. So he, he never took my statement after I refused to speak and uh I stand up and I put my phone out to see what time it was and he asked, he, t he says to me and I quote, do you know it's illegal to record police officers? And I says, well, I'm not recording you. That was quite strange that he said that. <clears throat> and I says, well, I just want to go home, you know. Uh, so he says, well, we'll give you a lift up the road. So I got in the policeman, the policewoman and the policeman, the same people who interviewed me, they started to drive up to Lockheed. I thought they were going to drop me off in Lockheed, but they didn't. They stopped at Lockheed substation. They, the guy got out, right? The guy who was quite hostile refused to pay. I still had my statement and my CDs on me and never even looked at the evidence, right? He gave me a lot of smile as they took me up to Clever, up to Nine Wells Hospital to have a the doctor. After hanging around for ages, it must have been three and a half hours all in before I got home. I went to see the doctor. The doctor interviewed me for 20 minutes, him and a nurse. Yeah, I told them everything was happening. Then they, they, yeah, they thought I was fine, because I am fine. And I went to go home. So they took me home, dropped me off in Lockheed, and to this day, they have still not looked at my evidence. And, you know, I don't care, because I put it on, I put it online. 